Hey, what is up ladies and gentlemen? Today I'm going to show you how to install the ACW 2.0 American Civil War mod for Napoleon Total War. So for those of you who don't know the background about this mod, this is the American Civil War mod for Napoleon Total War, but this is 2.0. Four years ago, 1.0 was released. As you see here, three years, three months, and... Oop, don't look at that. Three years, three months, and 12 days. Uh, it's finally out. Uh, so about four years. And it took them 15 months to make it. There's 43 maps. There used to be 13, now it's 40. And if you guys want to go ahead and read through this, you can. This will tell you everything you need to know. By the way, there is no single player in this. It's only multiplayer. And so, with no single player, there is no campaign. So don't worry about that. Um, there's enough here to where you can, you know, have enough fun. So... The main issue I'm going to show you guys today is how to install it. So you're going to come down to the bottom here where it says preparing your system. There is a guide you can open up, but my point today is to show you guys how to install the mod without using the guide. And this is probably going to be faster than using the guide. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to come down here and you're going to find where it says .rar. You're going to go ahead and open that up. Alright, once it's open it's going to say there's a problem because you can't preview it of course. So you're going to go ahead and download and it's going to take you to the Google Drive. It's 855 meg, it'll probably only take you about two minutes. So go ahead and pause the video here and come back when you're done downloading so that you don't miss anything. Or you can just go ahead and watch the video all the way to the end and then do it. But I'd suggest pausing the video. So if you've paused the video and you're now back or you're ready to just power on through, you should have it downloaded and it should be open in a WinRAR thing just like this. So you're going to have all these files right here. There's two things you can do. You can go to your extract. And of course, you could type in, for instance, let me uh, go ahead and find this one right here. Go ahead and copy this in. By the way, these file directories will be in the description below along with the links. So you're going to go ahead and you know, type all that in. Okay. But uh, like, like when our road with, load, what it's got to do. One thing you're going to add, though, is if you're going to extract using Win WinRAR, you're going to backslash, and you're going to type ACW in all caps. It's going to make a new folder to hold all your ACW files. You can do that, or you can do what I generally do, and that's come over to here to this file. Go to right-click, go to New, Folder, name a folder ACW, and then drag all of this and drop in here. So go ahead and pause the video if you got to extract or drag and drop. It's going to take about a minute and a half, maybe two minutes to do. All right, and so that means if you're done or you're powering right through it again, you um, should have an ACW folder inside your Napoleon Total War data folder found in Program Files, x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Com, and Napoleon Total War data. You should have the ACW folder. You're going to select all of these but the user script, and you're going to drop them in here. I've already done it, but that's what you guys are going to do. Just drop them all in here, including the user guide. The user guide is not going to hurt it. Uh, just make sure that script does not go in there. Make sure that script stays in the ACW folder. So, your file should only have this in here. Mine have this because I have those backups just in case. Uh, if I go to delete, I can just move it out. Um, if you want to do that, you can. But once you've done that... Oh my god, so many pop-ups. Once you do that, you won't need WinRAR anymore. So you can go ahead and close that out. And what you are going to do is you're going to come over here, and you're going to the ACW folder, you're going to copy the user script as such, and you're going to go to this right here. Let me just, uh, oh God, let me move this out of the way real quick. <laughs> so you're going to go to Napoleon, you're going to go to scripts, and you're going to see there's a preference script, and you're going to see there's a user script. All right. What you're going to do is you're going to paste the um, user script and go ahead and replace. It usually should be another mod or Napoleon. That preference script, you can delete it. Once you load up Napoleon, another one's going to be loaded. By the way, if you go into the Creative Assembly and don't see a Napoleon, that's probably because you've never launched Napoleon or you haven't launched Napoleon recently. Um, same with Napoleon to the war and the data thing. If you haven't launched it recently, you're not going to have it in there. So 
If you've bought the game and have never played it on Steam or ever installed it, you're not going to have this. And if you uninstalled the game and haven't reloaded it, you probably won't have this. So if you see that and that is an issue, that's how you solve it. Just hit play and you're all right. But do it before. Um, well, uh, you can still load it um, without loading into the main menu um, to find your user script. But you're going to want that user script in there. Also, to point out, this mod does not work with any other mods at all. You cannot have any other mods installed with this mod. Uh, there is no Darth mod compatibility with this. There is no Napoleon Total War 3 compatibility. There is no Great War compatibility. Only American Civil War. You can only have American Civil War installed. So once you've got, of course, the files moved here and the user script into your creative assembly, which is found in user or is uh, C semicolon backslash users, backslash username, backslash app data, backslash roaming, backslash the creative assembly, backslash Napoleon, backslash scripts. That file directory will also be in the description below. You're going to go ahead and you can go ahead and take these down. And you're going to want to go to your Steam and you're going to want to load up Napoleon. Um, I'm going to go ahead and load up Napoleon and I'm going to meet you guys in the game because of course I can't use a screen recorder in the game. Alright guys, so if you've done the mod right, you should be able to load up Napoleon. It should say North and South, the American Civil War 2. And it should have the first Minnesota at Gettysburg, with the painting in the background. Now when you load up, you should have music playing. It should be Fife and Gun from Gettysburg. That should be playing in the background. I have it turned off, one, because it's loud, two, because I don't want to get a copyright strike. I don't know whether or not I can play it or not without getting a copyright strike, and I really don't want one. So, this is what you're going to see. If you don't see this, you've done something wrong, and you're going to go back in the video and back step and see what you did wrong. If you did it right, I'm going to go over what this thing has. So, there is no campaign. That's just an old Napoleon campaign that I've probably done, like, years ago, and it's time to tell me to continue. You're going to go to single player. None of this will work, except for play battle. There are no sieges, there are no sea battles, there is land battles. Now, with the land battles, I believe all of them are 4v4, but the division scale. I believe that one cannot be played in multiplayer. I think that's what the guide said. The guide will tell you which ones are multiplayer and which ones are not. Now, there is one map. Let me try and find it here. Fort Wagner. Fort Wagner is a siege map. So that is a siege map. It's a 4v4, so well, actually I think it's a 3v3, but um, like I said, all these are all these can sort of support up to 6 players, not 8 players. These say 4v4, that's only because of the map size. Um, they can only support 3v3. Everything's a 3v3. And I think a couple of these might be a 1v1, but, and I think, um, yeah, so here's Fort Wagner, that is a siege, all the rest are, um, just state of the line maps where it's just line battles. So you, of course you have Shiloh, you have both Manassas, Gettysburg, and in full depth of Gettysburg. You have um, Stones River, which was one of the original maps. Um, Shiloh was an original map. Spotsylvania was an original map. Um, second Manassas and first Manassas. Uh, I don't think Franklin was an original map. And Antietam was, all these Antietam maps were, and Chancellorsville and Chickamauga, I believe, were. Yeah. So, like I said, guys, these are plenty of maps, and there's plenty to do. If you're just watching this video just to watch it, you need to get this mod. This mod is amazing, and with the update, just so many more maps and so many more units. There's over 3,700 regiments between both the Union and Confederacy. Just amazing, and you guys need to check this mod out. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Put in the comment section below if you've had any problems, and I will try to reply to help you. And if not, people in the comment section can help you as well. Let's try and get as many views and as many likes on this video as possible and get it up there so that way more people can find it and more people can use this to get this mod. Let's try and get it to 2,000 views within the next maybe six months. Because the 1.0 has about 4,000 views, so I want this, the 2.0, to get 2,000 views. That's what we're going to try and do. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube and you have not seen my channel before, please do subscribe. Uh, I need, of course, more subscribers. We need to expand the channel so that more people can watch the videos. And just the more subscribers I see is 
basically motivates me more to make videos. So please go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, and don't forget to comment. Like, if you need any help, comment, and I'll, within a day or two, I'll have a response. And most of the time, I can help you. If I cannot help you, I'll be flat out with you. I'm not really the computer geek. I don't know, but I can... It, with a mod as simple as this, I know there are those problems somebody I get where it's like a million and one chances that you get that problem. I've been there before. Um, if I can't help you, I will try my hardest to find out, but if I cannot help you, um, well, that's that. Uh, maybe people in the comment section can help you, and maybe you might be able to go on the website and find out. In the description below is going to have the download link, the website link, the user guide link, I'm going to have the file directories, how to find all this stuff and drop it in, the download link for WinRAR, and um, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy the comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time, don't forget to check out my channel if you are not subscribed currently, goodbye.